How much better is the Google Pixel 3 than the 2XL? Let's go and find out. Now the Pixel 3 and the 3XL are basically the same phone. Uh, this of course, the 3 is smaller, smaller screen. And no notch on it. So in terms of boot up, the 3 is the fastest on the market. And the 2 is pretty fast as well. Alright guys, now for the specs. The 2XL is a larger screen at a higher resolution. Now on the phone we have two selfie cameras for the 3 and one for the 2. And on the back the camera for the 3 is updated. Now both phones do have the same storage. The 2XL is a larger battery. The 3 is an updated chipset. But the RAM for both is exactly the same. Both phones are water resistant, but the 3 is a higher certification. Now at the bottom, both phones are Type-C. And unfortunately, no headphone jacks. And on the back, both are glass. Alright guys, now for the test. All right, guys, get into it. NBC. Now, NBC has been pretty slow this week, but we have advantage here for the three. Netflix. Again, advantage for the three. Spotify. So the three should be faster for most of the stuff, but really the question is how much faster so YouTube was pretty close, eBay. That is actually going to the 2XL. iFunny. Three. Amazon Shopping. Again, the three. Photos. Okay, so the three winning most of stuff. And now we have gaming. So we have a brand new game here, PUBG. Or uh, at least new to the video. Uh, yeah, I've only used this game, I think, once or twice before. So keep in mind, we have the Snapdragon 845 versus 835. But both phones do have the same amount of RAM. Alright, so that was advantage for uh, 3. Dump run. Mario. And guys, I have to say, I do like the screen a lot more for the 3. Uh, I know that the 2XL is a high resolution, but just the 3 looks a lot more vibrant. Especially at an angle. Alright, so advantage, some type of connection is due for the 2XL. So advantage here for the 3. Let's give it a few. Alright, there we go. Asphalt. Yeah, the 3 is displayed, so it's a lot better. So this is going to be, again, advantage for the 3. And this is by about, oops, actually let me get that real quick. Alright, sorry about that guys. And we got Fortnite. But then we got a lot of stuff after this. So I'll just fast forward through it. Alright, so a narrow advantage here for the 3. Baybreeze, no copyright. And now we got the speakers.
Now both phones have dual speakers. So first up we got the three. And two. Back to three. And last time here. So overall, I do for the quality for the three. But as always guys, let me know in the comments below. Time now for the fingerprint. So, pretty much the same for it. Alright guys, now we got Chrome. And it's going to have to wipe the tree. So we got four sites, Samsung.com, and a narrow vantage there, four to three, Apple.com, advantage four to three. Yahoo.com Pretty close there And final one Sony.com And again advantage there for the three Alright so now we got multitasking And going back to the beginning here now this is really an area that both phones struggle with quite a bit. Uh, now keep in mind, both phones 4 gigabytes of RAM. So you guys saw a slight advantage there for the 3. But Android phones with 6 or 8 gigabytes of RAM don't refresh like this. YouTube. Yeah, another refresh there. eBay. Once again, a refresh and another advantage there for the three. Now, really the problem is guys, like for iFunny, for example, I mean, if you click on it and you wait like half a second for the refresh, not a big deal. But in terms of gaming, let's say for PUBG. So for this, I mean, both of them are refreshing and you know, if you're in the middle of a game or something, then you would lose your progress for it. Temple Run. So another refresh there. And also guys, I don't think that the the gestures don't seem as yeah, they definitely don't they don't seem as smooth to me on the 2XL. Alright guys, so let's just go and run Geekbench. And you all see advantage there for the three. Time now for the camera speed.
Okay, so pretty similar, but looks like the three by a few milliseconds. And now I've tested the selfie cameras. And look at the stabilization. And now I've tested the selfie cameras. And look at the stabilization. And now for tested rear cameras. And look at the stabilization. And there's a look at the maximum zone. Alright guys, so in terms of whether you should upgrade from the 2 to the 3, I would have to say no. Now just to be fair, it is a 1 year upgrade, which is not much. So usually I always say no. But I would say if you are choosing between both, I would recommend the 3. Alright guys, so as always, thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and let me know in the comments below which phone you plan to get.